What's up guys, it's Funo from MultiplayerGamers.com, it is Saturday night, it is Euro Truck time. We are still not running uh, pro mods tonight, uh, because we're still attempting to get further in the holiday, holiday gift deliveries, which I'm severely behind in, so my goal tonight is to at least finish uh, Tier 1. So I have three more deliveries to do just to get Tier 1, and then we can work on Tier 2. But at least tier 1 will give me some goodies. So, plan tonight is to at least get three more runs in play. So let's take a look at what is available to us. We are currently in Hanover, Germany. And I'm looking at the wrong list. There we go. So we're in Hanover. <clears throat> and... Is there really only two jobs. One is 744, one's 360. We're going to take the 360. Distance doesn't matter too much for tier one. We need to, They need to at least be over 250 kilometers. So if I can get three short ones in, and then I can work on uh, the longer ones. So this is going to take us all the way to Amsterdam. We have not been to Amsterdam yet. I think we should go. So Slonify says there's a typo in the rules. I even ran that through a spell checker. Believe it or not. Okay, let's see where we are. We are... We need to repair. I know that much. Because we didn't do that last time. Oh, look, and there's a discoverable right behind us. We'll grab that one real quick. Looks like I need some fuel, too. So 
we're still playing on the alternate profile, which means uh, we're not using pro mods. Which is kind of a bummer, honestly, because I've gotten so used to having pro mods that running without it, I mean, I totally notice a difference <laughs> without it versus with it. I did a test uh, off stream to see if it's going to be possible to reincorporate uh, this profile back into my main one, and it is. So I'm going to play this as if everything mattered, which is probably wise anyway, because I seem to be taking too many risks last time I played. I went back and viewed, re reviewed some of the video, and I was driving in ways I wouldn't normally drive and not really caring because the idea was that I wasn't going to be responsible for the truck after the fact. Um, so, in order to force myself to drive normally, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And I'm going to drive like I would normally drive. Slonify says, can you review the rules again? You know, I don't know. I think once you accept them, you've accepted them. Um, I will take a look at them in the dashboard, though. They should be a direct copy and paste of the link on the website, which is mgamers.com forward slash chat rules. Let's see if there's any upgrades. I don't think there's going to be. All right, what's this? Chassis. Ooh, we increase heavy cargo but lose a bunch of maneuverability. I don't think I want to do that. And that does nothing for us. We can go up to 520 horses. Slight improvement. I'm only going to pay three grand for that. I think that's worth it. And then I don't think we have too much in the way of better training. Yeah, that's not going to be too much of an improvement. We'll stick with that one. This one makes no sense at all. Nothing on the inside of the cabin to change. Pretty much like what I got. Can't imagine changing it. I'm happy with colors. And I don't think there's anything new style-wise either. Exclusive in chrome. Uh oh, look at the chrome. All right, I'll buy that. <laughs> New wheels. Don't care as much about the wheels. Paint and stock. Here we go. I am going to go ahead and get the paint, and I love having the continuation of the skin of the truck going all the way down. Really enjoy that. Oh, check this out. I can upgrade the left exhaust and the right exhaust, and I can put lights on it? Really? How cool is that? We gotta have lights. I mean, we gotta. I don't really see any lights going. I guess they, they are there. They're really tiny. I wonder what color those are. I'm guessing they're uh, yellow, but they don't exactly show. We'll do the same down here. And since my plan is to keep this profile moving forward, even when I go back to Pro Mods, I'm feeling okay with doing this kind of stuff. Truck needs lights. Gotta have a truck with lights. I haven't been really happy with this push bar in front either, but I haven't found one that's worthy of replacing it with. I like that black look. Although this is kind of cool. That's gonna re- oh yeah. Oh yeah. We can do even more crazy lights. Large side marker. What does that actually do? Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. It literally puts a little side marker on the side. I wonder. Hopefully, they light up. We'll put those on. Got the left and right side markers, and then we'll put these lights in front because I think they're cool.
It's one thing I prefer about my truck and ATS versus ETS is that I have lights all over my truck on ETS. Yeah, I prefer the paint one. Got that going for us. Can we do anything in the back yet? No, wait. Why can't I not? I can't zoom out any further than that. So I can get the Scania or Scania V8 emblem. I don't care too much about that. What is this? Chrome. Gotta go with the chrome. We gotta chrome it up. This should be a paint one. Yeah, paint. I like, I'm keeping paint on those. Anything new up here on the light bar? Not really. We can go with the lower light bar. Yeah, I like the other one better. We've already got the beacons. There's really mu not much else we can do for a couple levels there. This is probably going to do it for me. Let's just look inside, make sure there's nothing special. I know I can put this back here. Actually, I already have it. Never mind. <laughs> I've already bought that. I didn't realize I bought that. That's kind of funny. So 41 grand. Out the door. Look at that, though. Look at the trim lights. Those are so cool. And around the front, I can't wait to see at nighttime. Okay, so go back to... I just noticed that that job never got taken. Oh, it did. Okay, where am I picking up then? I never got GPS coordinates as far as where I needed to go to pick it up. There's the end point. Where's the start point? Oh, I'm literally right next to it. Okay. It was in the same place I just was. That's kind of funny, actually. All right, so we're going to go back to where we came from, but I'm going to pick this up, get that discoverable. Not the disco Actually, the discoveries don't matter too much right now, only because um, Pro Mods may actually move it, so but I'll grab it anyway. Me first. <laughs> I think it's just a recruiting center that's up here anyway. Looks like it. Yep, recruiting center. Another place to hire people. We'll go pick up our presents now. Actually, you know what? We'll go gas first. Um, actually, do I need to rest, too? I haven't, I haven't even checked that. Okay, nope. Resting is good. I'm going to hook up and get... Hmm. Well, we'll see where it has us go. It might make sense just to hit the road and try to get gas on the road. I'm not in any danger. I got half a tank, which actually is enough to get me where I'm going anyway, so... World's longest turn signal. <clears throat> so last night we played Railway Empire. And we got to a point where money was no object and the game was not progressing. I went and looked at the beta forums and it's actually a known bug if you, uh, if you buy out both of the... Uh, <laughs> rival AI right off the bat, it does prevent the game from moving forward after a certain point. So basically that screwed me later on down the road. So <clears throat> I'm going to redo that scenario again. And we'll do it right this time. At least, at least leave one of them alive. I like the idea of taking one of them out early on. That may be kind of cheesy, but... The AI cheats in that game. <laughs> I feel like I need to take advantage somehow.
This truck is so much more quiet than my ATS, my, my Peterbilt. Are you going to wait? You're going to stop. You're both going to stop. All right. And then you're going to go. The minute I move forward. See that? Of course. Stay right where you are, little hatchback. And I got a red light violation because I wasn't paying attention. This truck is so quiet now. Like, ridiculously quiet. <sighs> and look, there's a cop right there. I was going just slightly over the speed limit. Could have very easily just nabbed me right then and there. So also, if this is going to end up being my profile, what I'm probably going to start doing too is work on my garages, or a garage, and they have one. Um, my garage in game is in Oslo, uh, Norway, which is safe from pro mods because that city does exist when I have pro mods loaded. So I should be able to upgrade that garage. I'm probably not going to do it while I'm on this profile or while I'm loaded in here, just to play a little safe. So I'm just going to be accru accruing uh, money and work on upgrading my truck. Since it's right here, it'll start, keep me from having to stop again. So, what do you guys think of the new loading screen? Actually, all of my screens have changed. It's really bugging me in the mirror there, you can see the presence. It's really bugging me that the ribbons don't whip around in the wind. Really think they should. Alas, they do not. All that ATS driving, I, I 
really started missing my uh, Scania. <laughs> this truck just drives so much better. No offense to Peterbilt, or no offense to ATS in general. But, uh, I should like import this truck over to my ATS. I think there's actually a mod that adds the Scania or Scania uh, trucks to it. Except then I can't play them in multiplayer. So that's a bit of a problem. Getting off here already. Oh, this is an actual stop. Brakes, brakes. It was just an off-ramp at first. That could have been bad. I can get uh, this run plus two more done real quick tonight. I might actually switch back to uh, Railway Empire just to get that going. That'll be the third or fourth time I've done that chapter of that campaign. Now it's kind of like a you know personal vendetta. I have to finish it. I have the hiccups. Use the cruise control through here. The hills are too uh, steep. Check out those sunflowers. Why does it look like giant Christmas gifts? Because it is giant Christmas gifts. This is the uh, special event that's going on until January 20-something. You have to deliver six of these to complete a Tier 1 uh, prize, and then you do six more as a Tier 2 prize, and then you're entered in a uh, contest on SCS's website where you can actually win um, actual merchandise. So... And it's kind of fun. But yeah, I'm hauling actual presents. Presents. This is apparently Santa's helpers are, are using 18 wheelers, so this must be for uh, next year or this year. This is Christmas 2018. We're just delivering early. <laughs> you yeah, have already delivered. Uh, there's six tier one presents or loads you have to deliver. I've done three of them already. This is number four. I'd like to do th the other three tonight, providing I can find them that are around 300 kilometers or so. And then, um, and then we'll go from there. So the tier twos, I believe they have to be over 500 kilometers? I think that's what it is. I'll have to look it up once I get there.
I keep saying, but what does bug me about the presence in the back is that the ribbons on top of that box should really just be whipping around like crazy in the wind, but they're just completely static. Not moving at all. It's actually not made from ribbon. <laughs> but it is, look at it, it has to be. Look at that, it's gotta be. I guess it doesn't have to be. It could be steel. Took you 45 minutes to park a truck. At that point, you have to consider d diminishing returns. In 45 minutes, you probably could have earned more XP than you would have gotten for the actual delivery. You'll get better. There's a couple of, uh, honestly, there's a couple of drop-off spots that I still have trouble with. They're uh, articulated tractor drop-off spots, so you don't have to back in or anything like that, but um, just the, the positioning of the trailer ends up being a pain in the butt. Yeah, practicing, I think, sure. Understand that. Germany, the home of the wind turbines, apparently. Seven eighty-eight. Come on. These hills are killer. The U.S. needs more wind turbines. If you head north, um, northwest of Chicago, like out in um, Wisconsin, and especially Minnesota. Uh, and actually Indiana for that matter so south of us in Michigan here um, there's a ton of wind turbines tons of them trouble is they're very expensive their maintenance is very expensive and the argument is that the expense of maintaining them is more than the it is basically it does it's not more than the profits from it but it digs deep enough in the profits that there are cheaper methods of, of producing electricity that's the argument I've heard by them about them but wind, wind turbine technology has been getting better and better all the time. The new, new ones, they're not even big, tall towers with fan blades on the top like that. They're actually cylinders of, uh, it's basically a cylinder of fan blades. It almost looks like an old, um, like, manual push mower, lawnmower. And it's a cylinder of that, and the idea is that it doesn't matter what direction the wind blows at them, they're able to spin. And there's The only thing that spins is the actual turbine piece, so there's no blades or anything like that. It's kind of cool. I would love to get solar panels, uh, solar panels on my house, but that's kind of another situation of diminishing returns, plus I, uh, we have a lot of trees here, so I'm not sure we would actually get our money's worth out of it. That was a really cool time. Or overpass. Oh, there was another one. These are really cool bridges.
traffic up ahead. There's got to be a uh, lane merge or something up here for traffic to be that squished. Good luck, there's a windmill off to the right up there. This might be picture worthy. I'm gonna get just past it and try to get it be get a shot of it behind me. Probably right about there. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. Oh yeah, perfect. So we'll get the whole trailer and the presence and the windmill off in the distance there. Turn the blur down a little bit, like that. Perfect. Well, we're in the Netherlands, so yeah, we're close. Oh yeah, there are more. I didn't even notice those. You know, let's do something like this. I love these uh, holiday trailers. They light up like a Christmas tree at nighttime, too. There we go. So I should have just enough time to drop this load. I can rest in town that I dropped this off in and repair because I haven't... Uh, actually, no, I, did, I did repair. Never mind. So I'll need to rest when I get to town and then hopefully pick up another uh, another trailer of presents. So I should be able to do two more of these with no problems at all. These are nice quick runs. Yeah, we should be... Let me check the map real quick. We should be just... Yeah, we're just over the border. We're heading to Amsterdam. So actually, we're really close. And there's a there's a discoverable there too, which we'll get on the way through. Maybe might have to might have to turn left there. In fact, let's just make that a automatic left. Oh, and there's a garage for sale here too. Have to remember that for the future. Not a fan of those lane uh, terminations like that. I get why they do it that way. And maybe we should have those in the US. Those overpasses are so cool. Got a church off in the distance over there. Looks like a church. As I try to drive and look at the same time. Yeah, it's a church. Oh, hot air balloons. Be getting off here pretty quick, I would think. Oops. Yeah, not quite. Actually, it kind of looks like the highway just ends. Because there's a sharp right turn there. I'm not sure that's an exit. Guess we're about to find out.
guess just a turn. So we have discovered Amsterdam. There's a garage for sale there. This must be the industrial area of Amsterdam. It's not, not a whole lot to look at. I'm kind of surprised. Little surprised. Wish I could see the light. Like a caravan. So this is a truck dealership. Oh, it's a DAF. I love that these are all yields and not stops. That's the way it should be. This one is not a yield, that would be a stop. But I can turn on red, at least I think I can. Delivering this one right out front. I did review some of my other footage too. I noticed that my steering wheel is actually quite loud on the microphone. I apologize for that. I can't, uh, I have an isolator on it, but it apparently isn't good enough, so I'll be fixing that pretty, pretty soon here. Especially when this wheel starts getting loud. Come on, ding it. All right. What did we get for that? I don't, think, I don't even think I paid attention to the money. So 18.4. It's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Approaching level 16. See, that's another reason for me to keep this profile. I think I've gone up three levels already. All right, let's see what we have on the job market for presents. Oh, there's a bunch. Look at that. Yeah, the serial noise bothers me, though. But the point that I would like to have is just have it... I want you just to hear me. <laughs> Not to, Wow, that's a far distance. A thousand kilometers. <clears throat> um, I'd rather just have it, just my voice come through. So we're going to fix it. We can go back to where we just came from. Rather not do that. We'll go up to Great Britain via ferry. Haven't been to Great Britain yet. What else can we do? Another Great Britain, Great Britain. What is that? Oh, it's a wind wind turbine section. That's interesting. I haven't hauled one of those yet. 
Do I want to go to Great Britain and drive on the other side of the road? <laughs> yeah, I may as well. We haven't been up there yet. It's only 18,000, but it is only a 345 kilometer. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. Land distance 345. The, the ferry distance is greater than the tra distance traveled on land. Crazy. A $1,000 uh, ferry ticket. Yeah, Great Britain, we're going to do it. We'll go to Great Britain. My original profile that I played on this was actually the home base was in Great Britain. Oh, look, my uh, the presents are right here, too. I guess I'll go ahead and grab it. I do need to rest, though. Before I head over to the ferry. Thousand dollar fairy ticket, yeah. Well, it's funny because there's a ferry here that you pick up in northern Michigan that takes you across Lake Michigan over to um, Wisconsin. I looked into taking it once, but it's like a three hundred and fifty dollar ferry ticket, and it takes you like four hours to get across the lake, which, I mean, at that point, it's Lake Michigan at its widest point, so I guess that makes sense. And it ends up saving you, uh, well, I mean, driving from here to where that ferry lets off is like eight and a half hours, roughly. All right, is there a place in town to rest? There is. It's down here. So... We'll go here first, which means I'm actually turning at this light. So it is 1.39 p.m., so I'm going to be driving at night after I rest. Let's see if I remember to drive on the left side of the road when I get into Great Britain. Notice today I'm a measly 17 followers away from affiliate status. It just seems like it's taking forever to get that. Oh, Jesus, this is a motel. Do I want to pull in there? Can I turn around in here? Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, there might be enough room back here. We'll just take all of their back parking back here. What's this gonna do? Yeah, so 10 1044 p.m. That's too bad. Oh, we get to check out our lights though. Oh, look at that. Those little white lights look so cool. Oh, even the little uh, beacon lights in the front are kind of neat. I wish they were a little brighter, though. And I wish those uh, the lights at the top of the truck actually worked. <laughs> they don't. They don't do anything. Right, we're going to try to just go ahead and spin around right here. The trailer should be short enough to do this without jackknifing. No problem.
It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. I have a green light. <laughs> Almost. I need to turn right. Okay, good. No cars. I hit my turn signal button, but my finger hit the wrong spot. No merging turn signal. This is actually a pretty far run. 712 kilometers. I mean, a lot of this ferry. Yeah, I'm going well over the speed limit. There we go. This might classify as a tier 2, but I can't take those yet until the tier 1s are finished. I wonder if the ferry distance is uh, calculated in with the uh, requirements for the tier 2 deliveries. Guess we'll find out. I do want to upgrade my... Um, dashboard at some point though because I don't have the in-dash GPS and I'd rather use that than the little window in the lower right hand corner. So at some point I will upgrade the interior. I just don't like the choices that are available right now. That's a cool tunnel. Subway tile on the side there on the right and the right and left. Cool city skyline out there. Oh, going underground again. Going well over the speed limit again. Nope, oh, I guess it wasn't a tunnel as much as it was an under underpass. Yeah, the cityscape's cool, and this, like, the Space Needle thing right in front of us, too, is kind of neat. Well, like we're going right in the heart of the city. a lot of speed hitting the brake during that underpass there. The heck was that? The heck was that? What the heck was that? I didn't hit anything. There was like a bump in the ground or something. I better not count toward damage. I don't know what the heck that was.
got to be getting close to the dock. Yep, we're almost right on top of it. Don't really feel like driving behind a tanker in case he brake checks me. Brakes! Oh, look at that. The AI decided to have a little accident up ahead. Um. Alrighty then. <clears throat> so this is interesting. I'm not sure the AI is going to know how to clear this. Looks like a car decided to uh, get a little friendly with the trailer. And unfortunately, maybe they'll move. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I do want to get a shot of my new lights. It looks so cool. Almost worth the wrong way penalty. I don't know that I can pull that off because there's a car right behind me. Come on. Look, the horn makes him inch forward just to ever so slightly. Everybody's engine forward, but nobody's moving. I would totally go the wrong way down the highway, but with my leg, the minute I pull over there, traffic will come. It's like, what if I could just keep honking? I need to get an air horn on this truck. Come on, get out of the way. Move. Yeah, there's no traffic right now. I don't know if I can make it over there, though. I have to back up first. Anybody right behind me? Yeah, there's a, there's a car right on my bumper. I'd have to back up a little. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can make that turn. Do I want to do that? And where's the median, I wonder? How far does that median go? It's hard to say. Maybe it just ends right at that bend. Oh, they're starting to move, though. Oh, there's a cop right here. There's a cop right here on my right. Did that truck really just shove him over? Okay, they, they worked it out. <laughs> they worked it out. All right, then. I need to get over, though. The cop's right there, too, and he's just like, yeah, I didn't see anything. I didn't d deliver any tickets. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't have to get over. That's the problem. AI and any time there's a lane merge, AI does not know what to do. It gets so confused. I'm glad I waited that out. I certainly could have just pulled over in the left lane, but that cop was right to right next to me. He would have totally gotten yeah, ticketed me. Silly AI. Funny thing is, there are mods out there that will give you more AI. I don't know why anyone would want to do that to themselves, given how dumb the AI is. Yes, give me more idiots. 
<laughs> Not just idiots, just brainless. Brainless AI. I I'd like more of those. actually get to drive up in the boat. You actually just pick it up here. That's kind of a bummer. View the destinations available to us. We need to go... Oh crap, where do we need to go? We need to take the ferry to... Doesn't look like there's two there. That's interesting. Is it Grimsby? Get some Grimsby. It doesn't. Oh, well, there. Yeah, there is another line. Felix Town. But we need to go to Grimsby. <laughs> they had a nice conversation. Yeah, maybe they did. So we're gonna go. And neither one of those is Grimsby. It's got to be this one though. It's a longer distance. Oh, I guess I could have just clicked on it. Silly me. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Long ferry ride. And it's daytime. It may have been, actually. Go to Amsterdam and go straight up to it. For sure. I don't know. I followed, I followed the GPS. Live and learn, I guess. Okay, so I am in... Britain now, which means we drive on the left side of the road. Because Britain. <laughs> yeah. Hey, didn't you just collide with somebody? I know I'm going this way, I just want to see what's over here. Feels so wrong to be on this side. Okay, there was nothing over here. Not sure what I was expecting. I was expecting something. Kind of like kind of trippy. It is. I like. I feel like I'm just doing something wrong. Give way. And I'm not used to looking for cars over on that other side. Oh, are you waiting for me? Well, aren't you just a peach? Yes, Britain, home of roundabouts. They're everywhere here. I forget the name of the town. There's a town somewhere that it's... Is it six roundabouts all in the same place? Like there's a big center roundabout, then five on the, on the outside. Oh look, caravans. I think it's, it's Willowsby? Willows? That sounds right. Willowsby? Definitely starts with a W. But there's a town that has just this insane roundabout.
It's not six lanes. It's um, it's it's a two lane road, but it's six individual roundabouts. Like there's a big central roundabout, and then if you were to picture like a clock face, if if the roundabout is a clock face, there was like one at like uh, two p uh, two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, eight and ten. Two four six eight. Yeah. So. <laughs> the idea is like there's these all these roads that court that go into this one area and I guess I guess it's the most successful and the oldest roundabout ever because traffic just flows through this because everybody knows how to use it it's just bizarre to me <clears throat> This is my turn. I love that everybody. I love the AI when they just like, okay, we'll let you go. Yeah, I guess you could, you could count it like that, sure. Traffic just flows. on the open road. There are some places that one-way roads definitely make sense. There are some places that they don't. Same thing with roundabouts, but that's another discussion. If you're just trying to get cars out of an area in an efficient way, then yeah, maybe one way is a work. My biggest complaint about roundabouts is all these cities with, uh, um, like even my hometown where I grew up, started converting normal four-way intersections into roundabouts. And by, by converting, I mean they're not making the intersection any bigger. They're literally just rounding it around. So imagine a normal four-way stop, say, you know, a two-lane by two-lane four-way stop, and they just smack a roundabout there. It just, it doesn't work. There's not enough room. That's what my hometown did. On almost every major corner, they converted to roundabouts. And then they, like, put a fountain or a statue or a big tree or something in the center of it. Just weird. I like these country highways. I say that every time I'm on one, but I just, it's definitely more interactive. You feel like you're actually driving, you're just, just kind of, you know, staying straight down a road like a highway. Yeah, I thought it was weird, too. It's like the city planner decided, hey, I really like roundabouts. I visited somewhere. They were they were great. We need to put them here. <laughs> oh, wait, the homeowners own that land and we don't have easement? Okay, we'll just make it work. 
We'll just round it off. He'll be fine. Pretty sure you had a yield. Just have to go around the property. Look, there's hot air balloons here, too. A <laughs> nice narrator, when in fact, rounding it off was not fine, as Joe recently found out. Speed limit is 97 kilometers. They must do miles per hour. Does Britain do miles per hour? Weird. I thought Britain was on the metric system for roadways. What's 97 kilometers per hour in, in miles? Somebody quick do the math. <laughs> Are they kilometers? Because that's weird, because my speed limit is 97. That seems like a strange amount. What is what is 97 kilometers in miles? Well, what is, no, the other way around. What's 97 kph in mph? I'm going 90. I'm, I'm in, my units are kilometers. So 60. So I bet this road is 60 miles per hour, not, because 97. I did read somewhere that Britain sort of goes back and forth for certain things, like for one thing they'll talk about kilometers and meters and other things they'll talk about, like I think they, I think they sell gallons of fuel instead of liters of fuel, I think that's one of the other differences. I could be wrong about that, but that's the first thing that I can think of right now. My truck is speed limited at 90. So after all this gift delivery stuff, I want to target getting myself back to Scandinavia because um, I would like to take a couple of, and, and get back on Pro Mods, and I would like to take a couple of cargo runs with uh, dual uh, trailers, which Scandinavia is all about. by the uh, collection of vehicles in front of me. Yeah, back it down. Oh, we're 
down to 80, but it's fine. Services, one meet and one mile. So that's not kilometers, that said one mile. There's actually a mod, I might try it at some point, um, I don't know if it's compatible with pro mods, that will let you have triple trailers and quadruple trailers. I watched somebody uh, have a, uh, somebody's Twitch stream of them doing the uh, quadruples. It was pretty funny. Like, there's no way you can deliver them. You have to go, when once you get to your location, you, ha you have to take the you know, I'm in a hurry setting. Because the game, there's there's no room to put those in most of these yards. Services, 200 yards. See, now we're yards. Yeah, quad trailers. Basically, you know, road train, essentially. I do know that Australia, it's not uncommon to have triples. Where they're actually, they actually are called road trains there. Exit is up ahead. It's still tripping me out being on the left side of the road. Tripping me out. My subconscious is yelling at me, You're on the wrong side of the road! <laughs> Trains sounds like it should be a TV show. I mean, we got Ice Road Truckers, we got Storage Wars, we got um, Shipping Wars. It should, we need to have Road Train. Need to have it. I so decree. Not that that means anything. Looks like our delivery point is on the left side of the road. That's what it looks like. Newcastle upon Tyne? I don't know what that means. Down in the GPS down there. That guy just cut me off. See, that says 30 miles per hour, traffic camera in forest. See on the side of the road there? I always thought the British used uh, the metric system all the way around. I guess not. Mercedes Benz. Hadn't seen one of those yet. Might have to take one for a test drive. Oh. Okay, thank God. He oh, he hit me. Come on now. Damn it. It's a clean run up until that point. So annoying. 
Calling silly AI on that one. Silly AI plus, you know, I wasn't paying attention. I'll take some blame. Should be good enough. I'm a little crooked, but we're not going to count that. All right. Any damage on that run? It got excellent. There was that weird bump I hit. Yeah, there was no damage. So I'd love to know what that what that giant bump was, though. That was bizarre. All right, so that gives us five out of six. We got one more run to get tier uh, tier one finished. Now tier two, deliver gets you at least six or twelve to compete second tier. Um, so different cities. So I can't go back to a city I've already been to. Okay, only cities above two hundred and forty kilometers. So I've almost got my Christmas ball, my plush bear, a new background. And then five people will be selected at random. I'm kind of curious to know how many people are doing this. I'm sure a lot, like everyone. Uh, oh, are there no, there's no presents here. That's unfortunate. Let's make sure we're looking at the right place. Job market, external. There are no presents here. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's look further in. Yeah, that definitely wasn't wall. I mean, I don't think I was on the wall. It's, it's like something, I wonder if it's like maybe two different tiles of the map, because I'm sure they don't, they, they, you know, this isn't one giant map. They must work it in, in some kind of tile system. Um, and I wonder if it was just like a transition point. All right, let's see what we can do here. So we're in Newcastle. Where can we go that would make sense? Something we, someplace we haven't been to yet. Birmingham. We can, we can go back to where we just came from. That's really a bummer that, um, that there's no presence here. So we'll have to do just another run just to get us out of the city. We can go, that's a long run. I don't want to do that. 1,500 kilometers. We can go to Southern Great Britain, but that's not anywhere near a ferry line. This one might not be bad. 749 kilometers. But it gets us into France. Unless I try to get to Denmark. I sort of want to get back down here. I haven't done any any of the... Uh, I don't think I've done any of the present ones down here. I've been through Germany, the Netherlands. Where, were, where was the other one I did? I did one in the Czech Republic. One in... Poland. So yeah, if I if I try to get down to France, I think that's our I think that's a good option. And this isn't bad money. This is thirty one thousand euros. It is a heavy load. Standard delivery, high value cargo. So I'll get bonuses for that. It is seven hundred forty nine kilometers though, so that's going to cut into my present delivering time. Wish I had realized there was. I mean, I guess there's no way to know, but wish I had known there were no. Uh, pick up spots here for presents. We'll go ahead and do this one. 
get us down south again, back to uh, the main bit of Europe. So our trailer is not here. speed limit. Okay, so that was pretty close actually, it's just right here. And there she is, another crane. We've hauled a lot of cranes. Is it? I think that trailer has a steering axle on it too. Hook me up. Definitely has a steering axle. That would have not a whip, would have not whipped around that traffic circle as well as it did if it didn't. Tell if they're adding a, a lane to the bridge or what they're doing. It seems like a weird area to have construction. Oh, so I, I just saw your message, Sloan. So, yeah, it didn't. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. I saw that before. Yeah, it didn't hit the wall. I, I think it was like map junction, like a bad map junction or something. to the ferry. <clears throat> Check the map real quick here. So yeah, that's that's pretty far actually. That's a short ferry ride too. It's nothing like this one. So I'm probably gonna have to rest. Because we have to rest in six hours. It's a ten hour trip and I don't remember how long the ferry ride was. Here. 
go a little further before I rest. It looks like there's a lot of gas slash rest areas all along, all along the way, so I'll just wait. Just hit the speed limiter. <laughs> so annoying. It's only the uh, world of trucks and jobs that do that too. I guess that way you don't, if, it's not like you can turn off all the if they don't put the speed limiter in it, you could totally just turn off the traffic violations and stuff like that, and then just, you know, hightail it back and forth and just take a bunch of the jobs off the list. Oh, dang it, I just noticed I was going too fast. Cha-ching! Goes the speed, speed ticket. So this may be my last stream of 2017. I probably will not be streaming tomorrow night, at least not at my usual time. I might stream shortly after our New Year's here on the East Coast of the U.S., or Eastern Time Zone, rather. Um, we'll see. That does mean his face cam is coming, so I get to scare everyone away with this mug. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> Fiery Salva will be doing birthday things tomorrow. Excellent. having people at the house tomorrow. We have kind of a yearly tradition. There's uh, another group of friends that get together every New Year's and uh, just hang out. We don't do anything crazy. We're old. <laughs> I'm not going to scare people Ace alone. Okay. My beard will scare everyone away. That's what it is. Oh, don't slam on your brakes. Now's not a great time. Why? There's no reason to do that at all. None at all. I can think of no reason why that was a good idea. People are gonna go get your beard. <laughs> Jaw drop with jealousy. I should totally like, like us, us, still trim it for neatness and whatnot. But I should totally just let it grow longer. I'll just be nothing but beard. It'll just be me sitting here, driving a big rig. It'll just be a beard sitting here. <laughs> Stay on the road. What is that? Is that it's a factory or something of some kind? Power station, maybe? Possibly a power station? 
looks yeah, it looks like a power station. The beard. You know, the funny thing is go random 80 kilometer an hour uh, speed limit funny thing is I thought about having a second uh, starting a second YouTube channel that would not necessarily be gaming related at all thinking more like current events and you know things that I like to complain about basically and I thought about calling it the beard I just don't know if people want to sit and watch me complain because <laughs> that's pretty much what it would turn into it'd be my outlet <clears throat> but I think there's plenty of those channels on YouTube that do that. It was funny because I, I made the realization... I think it was this past spring or early summer, um, Jace Robertson, one of the Duck Dynasty guys, I realized my beard was larger than his. I mean, granted, he's recently, within the last few months here, he shaved his beard completely off, and I guess he made the news over it. But um, I had made the, the startling revelation that uh, my beard was larger than his. I wasn't sure to be proud about that or, or what. <laughs> I thought it was humorous, as did my wife. I love that the GPS keeps wanting me to go into that left lane just to swerve back right again, which I'm not going to do, unless I'm going to get off the, the highway, which I don't think I am. I think I'm pretty much on this all the way down south. Until I get on the ferry. Speaking about Jace Robertson, though, and this is old news that he shaved his beard off, but he, he's like the kind of guy that he really needs to have a beard because it fills his face out. <laughs> no, no offense to him. I think he's awesome. I think he's a great guy. He's probably my favorite character uh, on the show, and and. Uh, at least how he portrays himself on the show. But to see him without the beard was just very bizarre. So bizarre. It's a guy that really needs to have a beard on his face. I'm sure his wife would disagree. Snow Fox says, hmm, Snow is in deep of deep thought. Sh share your thoughts with us, Snow. You're among friends. I'm either getting off the interstate here or it's just looping around. I can't quite tell yet. I think it might just be looping around. Snow's beard is far from a beast. He's got about two more years of growth. <laughs> Trying to tame a beard is crazy. Yes, it is. There are, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that there are photos of me in the morning 
with Morning Beard. Morning Beard is a sight to see. Not saying those photos will ever be shared anywhere, but they do exist. This guy's gonna brake check me if I get too close to him. At least go the speed limit, dude. You don't have to stop trimming to get a beard long. In fact, you want to continue trimming just to keep it neat, but you just don't trim big sections off is all you do. That's how my beard exists. If I make it 10 subs, I should share morning beard. 10 subs to share morning beard. <clears throat> I'll think about that. <laughs> Let's get, you know, 13 followers first. Where, where are my 13 followers? I'm so close. Or 17. 17. Need 17 more to get affiliate status. Just seems like they're elusive. Subs share a morning beard pick. Would be kind of funny. People would never look at me the same. Yeah, I can't. That's the thing. I can't stream during prime time. I have kids. That's kids' time. I am starting to vodcast uh, the previous night's uh, session during the day, so that's. I think I. I think I got two followers today after that, which is kind of cool. I mean, ultimately, I'm not in for the followers or anything like that. I do this because it's fun. I'm gonna play this game whether I'm streaming it or not. So. It's more fun to sit here and play and talk to people watching the stream than it is just to sit here and play. So that's why I do it. Part of the issue I, I know as well is I don't play the mainstream games. Like, I'm not playing PUBG, I'm not playing, you know, League of Legends or any of those other things. I play, I, I like these games. These are simulation games. Um, I play a bunch of other stuff too, but I, I like, you know, this style of game, this type of game, this genre, and it's just, it's just not the heavy hitting, highly popular game genre on Twitch. I need to start planning my rest area, which is probably going to be the very next one I come across. I just realized I'm, how close I am. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick up this one down here, and I'm almost out of uh, Great Britain. So yeah, so tomorrow I'll vodcast this video during the day. And then maybe an old one as well. I might rebroadcast the uh, Arma session from uh, Thursday.
But yeah, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna start streaming PUBG and try to get to rank one or any of that other stuff. It's just not me. I don't care about that stuff. I like racing games, I like strategy games. I like simulation games. And that's the stuff you'll see on this channel. More wind turbines. Fog rolling in too. I still haven't started picking up, um, or playing, not picking up, playing. Uh, I do want to start playing Car Mechanic. I have watched a couple streams, I admit, uh, of people playing it. It does seem to be really, really grindy, though. Like, there are periods of the game where you're pretty much doing the same thing repetitively. And I don't know how interesting that's going to be on stream. And I don't know how much I would play the game off stream is the problem. So, I'm going to have to balance that out a little bit, I think. I'll figure something out. I also need to get back to my summer car. I want to start building the engine now that I have my uh, tools. Um, recently picked... Excuse me. Recently picked up uh, Astroneer, which is which is actually a co-op game. I don't think any of our group has that game yet, or even has interest in buying it, so that might be... I might end up playing that solo. It just looks like fun. Conan and I are going to start playing um, The Hunter. Really looking forward to that. Which is a hunting simulator. Exit here. Fuel and rest. And that should take us into daytime, at least until we get to the ferry, which is then going to take us back into night again, but that's okay. So, where is the rest area? It's back here. Okay, it's after the fuel. Conan's doing well, I guess. I haven't really seen him too much. It's winter break right now. Um, he didn't take any time off, as far as I know, but he has not been online at all, so hopefully he's okay. Haven't really heard from him, which is kind of unusual, but we've got lots going on, too. Four hundred and seventy seven liters. DCS world, huh? We're going to see if we can pull up right behind this trucker right here and park here. This looks like a sleeping spot. At least I hope it is. I don't want to have to back up. Yes, it is. Good. And rest. And 6.14 a.m. Okay, so this, this is going to work out. We should be all rested for the rest of this trip. This is a heavy load. It's taking quite a bit to get us uh, up to speed here.
So it says there's 417 kilometers. I know a big chunk of that is the ferry ride. speed now. Check out this countryside though. It's very pretty. Ninety-eight kilometers. Probably turn those off now. The guy in front of me still has his lights on. There's that wonderful speed limiter. I really hope the town I'm heading toward has presents to deliver. I really want to finish Tier 1 tonight. Which might mean we're not going to have time for Railway Empire tonight, but... I really would like to get at least the Tier 1 gift. It, it, it would be really even nicer to get one of the runs in Tier 2 done, too. I don't know if that'll happen, though. Ultimately, I just want to get back to loading pro mods again. That's my ultimate goal. Although, when I am done with the gift deliveries, I'll try to do at least one uh, special transport mission so you guys can see that. I did one already, um, but I would like to do another one. Those are the uh, the missions where you have the escort vehicles with you. They're the excessively large loads. There's only certain roads that the uh, the jobs are available on, or certain pathways. And uh, Pro Mods does not support them yet because of the. Um, massive number of map changes that they've done with that mod. Um, it bra actually breaks... It actually breaks the uh, special transport mode, <clears throat> at least today. They say they're working on it, but, you know, there's no rush. They'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. One of my drivers just uh, finished a haul. Alva just brought in $4,100. Good job, Alva. With the money I have now, too, I could actually uh, buy another truck and get another driver moving as well. Might make sense. talked about that earlier tonight as well. I think I may actually end up doing that.
check the map real quick here. See how close we are. We gotta be getting there. Yeah, okay, one more bend. And then we're in Dover. What is this here? Never seen that icon before. Oh, it's a tunnel. This isn't a ferry. Okay. See, we're actually driving the entire distance. That is actually a tunnel. I did not realize that at first. Makes a lot of sense now. So we're actually going to drive these 312 remaining kilometers here, which is fine. I was just anticipating a, uh, a ferry. Tunnel would be cool. Must be a slightly downhill slope because gravity's taken over. It's like a rail line or something. Oop, drifting. Like a rail line or something over to the right over there. Electric train, probably. That's what it looks like. What would be cool, honestly, is if SCS were to make this kind of like an MMO. Like It sort of is now, because you have the, <clears throat> the world of truck stuff and the job sharing and things like that. Uh, but I mean a true MMO where you have, you know, just huge spanses of roads. Or like if, if they had the entire United States, for example, it, it would make a really interesting MMO. And who knows, maybe that's the direction they're going. Lots of rumors flying around about their intentions coming up. I'd love to see proper multiplayer from them. What are you doing? Speed it up, little white car. Do not make me lose momentum. What is that yellow? I think that was just a field of sunflowers over there, but my god, that was yellow. Sunflowers everywhere. Here is our interchange to get toward the tunnel, I'm thinking. Is a heck 
of a turn. I wasn't quite expecting it to be so sharp. Over this away. How is that field hayed already, and that field over there is perfectly green with the bushes or whatever that is? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Clearly, I was going too slow for that little white car. He just had to zip around me. Must be a Michigan driver. Yeah, I went there. Hey, AI, I know this is lane merge, but you can do it. Nope, you can't. Come on. They just, they can't handle lane merges. They just, they get confused. They don't know what to do. So prepare for a few minutes of nothing but tunnel. I think that's what we're heading for. How is this going to work? It's like a big turnaround or something up there. I've not been here before, so I don't know what this looks like. That's the exit. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Hit a car behind me. That's awesome. How does this work? What are we supposed to do here? I don't understand. Just go down any of these? I don't want to go down the wrong one. Oh wait, truck's not this way. Okay. Uh, I might have missed my turn. I think I missed my turn. So that is not a truck zone. And I just I just hit the car that was behind me again. Awesome. 
where do trucks go? No trucks, just cars. All right, let's go further. I might have missed my turn. In fact, I think it did. Yeah, because this is the exit. All right, we'll do a UE. I bet it was the first entrance. I, uh, I missed it. Yeah, it's having to go right back in again. Okay, well, lesson learned, and I get to unlock this stretch of road that it wouldn't wouldn't have normally gone on. This may actually... I sort of wonder if this is actually treated like a ferry. Like, maybe you just pull up, and then you just get magically transported across, because it is a train that's taking you over there, it looks like. So I bet it works just like a ferry. We're about to find out. All right, take two. Let's see where we're supposed to go. Is it this one? That's do not enter. That is no trucks, no cars. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna cheat a little bit because I'm not sure this is the right place. And I don't really feel like driving all the way back around again. So that is, so it's definitely not that one because the gates are down, so I can't go that way. There it is, yeah, check it out. It is just a ferry point right there. It's kind of a cool shot though, let's go ahead and take that. Just because I haven't been here yet. And there's a car coming now. Although it doesn't, that says no. Okay, now this is fine. So that's our answer. It does It does just uh, do the fairy thing. That's too bad. I was kind of looking forward to uh, actually making that run. But I get it. It's a train that goes under the channel there. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I don't drive straight. <laughs> I thought I had to drive down the train. That would have been kind of funny, actually. Thank God for a turning axle on this thing. I thought it was actually making me drive down the center of that. 
That's what it looked like. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to. There's, there's trucks down here. Looks like I'm turning right. I don't have a choice. I have to. Uh oh. Come on. I just stalled my truck. This isn't too much of a hill for this truck, is it? Come on. Are you serious? Are you really serious right now? Okay, we're gonna... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Trailer brake. This is like my worst fear right here, stuck on a bridge, or stuck on a, on an on-ramp. I'm gonna need to get some momentum. It never even dawned on me that I'd have a hard time getting up this hill. Yeah, I turned my diff on, I still couldn't move. This is just me releasing the brake, and the truck just wants to go down the hill. Alright, let's see what happens here. Let me turn the diff lock off. What is that warning light I have on? Diff lock is off. Come on, keep momentum. Keep it up. Keep going. Don't make me do this again. Got it. That was terrifying. <laughs> what is that other indicator light on my dashboard, though? Something is unhappy. Plenty of gas. My pressure is down. Why is the pressure low? That's interesting. Well, maybe. That may actually may be why I had a hard time getting up that hill, too. We'll, uh, we'll stop at a service station if there's one up here. Nope, oh, it's... It's... No, oh, pressure's... That might be hydraulic pressure, actually. Because my engine cut out. I don't think that's tire. Because hydraulics control the, uh... Um, the axle in the trailer in the back. I have a steering axle on the on that trailer, so
Yeah, the pressure's back to normal now. Well, that was scary. That was almost, uh, <laughs> that was almost tragic. This trucker's not gonna let me in, is he? Nope, he's not. I'm driving on the shoulder. Hope he did. Okay, good for him. I'm not sure I did enough damage. Let me see what's ahead here. I'm not sure I would have done enough damage to cause any major issues. Yeah, so I'm pretty much there. I'll have to get repairs here and check out what might be going on with the truck. Oh, it cops dude all the time. All all AI. Just they, they they all want to commit suicide. They just want to pull in front of you and drive underneath you and just call you cause you nothing but grief. So good to be on the right side of the road again, by the way. <laughs> this guy's gonna brake check me. I didn't even pay attention. What what did that bridge uh What's going on with my headset? My headset's being weird. Um I wonder what that bridge crossing cost me. Or a bridge crossing, the tunnel, the train tunnel. It didn't even look. Oh, drifting. Escape for a second. I'm having headset issues. Something's going on with my headset. Let's see if that's better. My headset keep keeps acting like it's uh, low on battery, but it's plugged into my USB right now, so that can't be. Yeah, this is just fuel up here, so we'll have to we'll have to wait till we get to town to check out repairs. But that's in 57 kilometers, so no big deal. Let there be presence in this town up here. The snow says, oh no, the update. Yeah, I've not had that happen, though. That's weird. I, it, it's been like 10 days since I've rebooted my machine, too, so that, that might be more of the case. If I have to downgrade the Logitech software, I certainly will. Got no problem doing that. Yeah, if it becomes a problem, I definitely will just roll the update back. That is by far the easiest thing to do. Which mouse did you end up getting, Snow? Did you get a, end up getting that Logitech mouse? Oh, good. Yeah, I have uh, I have two of the G700s, which isn't enough buttons for what you want to do with your mouse. Um, but I love it. I, it's been great. The funny thing is, I have two of them because my first one had an issue where the left mouse button, sometimes you would hold it and click down and like it wouldn't, like it would randomly let go even though you had your button on the mouse. Um, so I 
contacted Logitech to support because I was curious to see if it was still under warranty, and it was. And so they shipped me a new one, which was awesome. And I'm like, well, what do I do with the old one? They're like, well, keep it as a souvenir was the exact email I got back from support. I'm like, okay. So for giggles, I took the old one apart that was broken because I had a new one at that point. And I just replaced the micro switch that's underneath the left mouse button and it's working just fine now. So I ended up with a second mouse. I can't imagine 12 buttons on the side of your mouse. Like I'm not even sure my thumb could accurately use all those buttons. Like I have four on the side of mine, and that's enough. button mouse that's just that's just a lot of buttons man yeah I've got this is a logitech 700 it's got four buttons on the side it's got three to the upper left of the left mouse button and then there's two buttons below actually I'm gonna say that wrong there's one button above the mouse wheel, and there's one below it. And the only ones I ever use are the ones... I use the side buttons, but that's to adjust the sensitivity of my mouse. That's all I have that program for. I don't do anything else with it. And then uh, the buttons to the upper left of the left mouse button, I use that for, like, bringing up map and armor and stuff like that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was totally me looking at my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Man, where's this bad boy going? Right there, huh? Okay. This is where these trailers screw me up, though, because these trailers have a steering axle on them as I've said numerous times now. And it, it always ends up screwing me up because... Well, A, I can't see over there as effectively as I wish I could. And I don't like cheesing it and use this view. Yeah, I'm too far forward. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cheese this one. So what I need to do is get, as I turn my front wheels, the actual rear axles of the trailer also turn. So the trailer actually ends up turning sharper than I'm expecting it to. Oh, track IR is a dream. The only problem with track IR, and it's not really a track IR problem per se, is that more games need to support it. <laughs> Once you have a track IR, you'll wish that every game that you play has track IR support. And they do have this track IR mouse emulation mode you can use, and I've used it on some games. But it gets kind of weird. That is nowhere near being in. Ah, see, that rear axle gets me every time. It just turns way too sharp and I'm not ready for it.
He got it this time, though. Perfect. Alright, what did we get for that? We had damage, so... Oh, apparently it wasn't trailer damage, though, so hey, even better. Level 16. 31.9 in the bank. We'll take it. So where do we want to put our points? You know, I'm going to max out high value just for the bonus. We tend to take more high value cargo than anything else, so... Yeah, 3% tractor damage. All right, please let there be a holiday gift. There is, okay, there's quite a few. That is a long way to go right there. Something shorter. We can go back to Germany, to Dortmund, or we can go south to Borges. I like the idea of going south. We've already done one of somewhere here. Where were we? Hanover. Yeah, we did a, we did a gift run in Hanover. So I'm thinking we go down further south in uh, France, unless this one's closer, which is probably not. Oh, it's significantly closer. Let's take this one, just because it's closer. That one's out. This one's only 20, only. Wow, 54,000. That's a thousand kilometers, though. I'd rather just get them out of the way. Check this thing out, gas pipeline part. Look at the size of that gas pipeline, holy cow. We picking up oh we're picking up right here how convenient is that where's it at though <laughs> literally right next to me that's funny you'd be driving for nearly 20 minutes on the <laughs> yeah no kidding First things first, we need to... Oh, we're going to drive right past it. Good. So we'll discover whatever that is. It's probably a uh, truck dealership. We'll get repaired. And then we need to rest at some point. Maybe halfway. Maybe here.
Yes, this is our final load for tier one. issue at one point can't make you out very clearly really just check something real quick here oh that might have something to do with it what the hell is going on here
That's probably mountains better, I would suspect. I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, my audio mixer got jacked up. How bizarre. Yeah, I don't know what... I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know what happened there at all. How weird. I don't know. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Something, uh... Something mixer-wise got jacked up. I don't know. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad somebody said something. <laughs> I think I need to reboot. I haven't, like I said, I haven't rebooted in... Anywhere between 10, 10, to 10 days and 2 weeks. So, it's, it's been a little while. I need to move over. Don't say I never do anything for you. I appreciate you, Snow. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love that rapid deceleration from 80 kilometers to 50 right there. Tell me that's not a speed trap. Yeah, something bizarre happened. Um, the mixer that I use that brings all my various audio sources together had a bunch of the faders all the way down. I don't know what... I don't know what could have caused that. It shut down every night. But you think... It, oh. Oh, I shut down every night, yeah. No, I leave mine up and running. Let's see, is this where I was going to plan on resting? I think this is, actually. Or was I going to go further? No, I was going to go further. How much further can I go here? Three hours. I can go further. I have to rest in three hours. Yeah, I understood what you meant. Yeah, I, I leave mine up and running. I mean, certain things goes to sleep, so it's not like it's sitting there chewing on electricity the entire time, but um, I like to be able to reach it remotely if I have to. Which I do pretty frequently. kick in the cruise control here. Well, I know your your computer's also where it'll potentially bother you sleeping and whatnot, too. Mine is not, so it doesn't bother me at all to leave mine running. But as I said, it, you know, it does go to sleep, sort of. It's still reachable when it sleeps, um, but it does sleep. Like, it doesn't go into, like, hibernation or anything like that. It is actually is network accessible still. The displays go to sleep and all of the storage devices go to sleep. But other than that, I, I just leave it. I leave it go. I do the same thing with the machine that is currently streaming this session. Um, it also... I mean, all it is is a motherboard processor memory and an SSD. Well, a capture card too, but I mean, there's not a lot in it, so there's really not a lot to go to sleep 
nor is there a lot for it to actually use power. But I leave it up running, it, it up and running as well. Oh, that would be construction. Haven't seen construction in a while. Okay, it's just a lane shift. Freaked out for a second. I thought it was a lane closure. This is a tight lane. Good grief. Shoulder repair. You let me over, dude, or you're gonna come up my side of me. Okay, you let me over. Good for you. So 297 kilometers and we're done with tier one. I'm very excited about that. It's only six runs, but I mean, we had that uh, one money run in the middle there. It kind of slowed us down. We would have had it already. So I don't know that I'll do another, I don't know it, that I'll do another run to start tier two tonight. We'll see what time we actually get into uh, our destination here. I, I've been past this area c uh, quite a number of times and I, I think it's hilarious. So those are some kind of lights, I'm guessing. And it's broad daylight and yet there's still a halo around them, which I think is crazy. Isn't that funny? They're like giant spotlights or something, and there's a big halo around them, even in the middle of the day. Oh, I think my audio just jacked up again. Let me know if you guys can hear me still. I can tell already it's quieter than it should be. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm definitely going to need to reboot tonight. No, no, everything looks fine. Actually, I'm going to... Here, we're going to tab out a second. I'm going to move this over here so I can keep an eye on it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's my mixer is dropping the levels of my mic for some reason. And the crazy thing is it's dropping the levels to my headphones too. I don't know what could cause that. Not a clue. That is a mystery for another day, or possibly a mystery that doesn't even need to be solved, other than just rebooting. I think a good old-fashioned reboot just needs to happen later. When we're done here. Probably when I'm done streaming, I'll just go ahead and reboot it for tomorrow. I used to at least reboot once a day. <clears throat> I haven't really been in that habit too much. Uh, lately, mainly because you know when I started streaming, I was streaming off of this computer. I wasn't streaming. Now that I'm streaming on a separate machine dedicated to actually doing the streaming, um, you know I don't have that limitation anymore. <laughs> but like the bot that's in the channel right now is actually running on the streaming machine as well. Hey, little blue car. 
Stay back. Thank you. I should just stay in this lane, I think. Oh, this is my... Uh, is this my turn off? So three hours until I get there. Yeah, I need to do this now. <sighs> There's the first yawn. Oh, I almost missed it. Almost missed it. Slow down. Crap. <laughs> I looked away for a second. Almost missed my darn turn off. We'll go ahead and rest now. I think that's prudent at this point. And now it's nighttime. And Alva has brought another $3,300. Good on you, Alva. Yeah, maybe I'll get gas too since I'm here. Good old pump number one. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars in gas. Two hundred kilometers to go. little white car here. There he goes, he backed off. You know, if I saw an 18-wheeler, and often I do when I'm on the highway, and he's trying to merge on, I'll usually move over, or speed up or slow down, just to get out of his way, whatever happens to be the best opportunity at that particular moment. This game, though, <laughs> it's like the AI is here to kill you. I think they're specifically designed to knock you off the road. And I'm staying in this lane now. Just because I can. And I'm going to go five kilometers over the speed limit, too, just because I can. <laughs> so now I think you're right. I think Sloan passed out. She has dropped off. I do not see her in the list of users anymore. Oh, she's on a laptop, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Sounds like she needs an extension cord. Or a chain of power strips. Oh, or iPad, yeah. I've never actually viewed Twitch on an iPad. Or even, a, like, I have Android tablets. I don't have iPads, but... I've never actually tried the Twitch client on a tablet. I should try it at some point.
That was a dip in the road there. That was bizarre. I know the Android version of the Twitch client, if you're a broadcaster, you can actually, I think you can broadcast from it. Which, I'm not sure when I would ever want to do that from my phone, but, or a tablet for that matter. Oh, check out the sunrise, just coming up off the horizon back there, that's a really cool effect. Two thousand eleven is not bad. I have a Mac that came from oh gosh, two thousand eight, I think is my original Mac, which I still have. It's like the original MacBook, it's the all white one in the plastic case. Yeah, I actually took the hard drive out of it and put an SSD in it, like it brought new life to the device. Oh, 2015 would definitely be an upgrade. That sounds like a plan, too. traffic jam up ahead, which means somebody's going to stop. Something bad's about to happen up ahead here. There's too many vehicles together. Hey, you, you've not seen my computer, Snow. <laughs> I don't even know how much my computer weighs anymore, but it's, uh, it is, it is, it is incredibly difficult to move. Like, my computer case, I think, is from 99, 2000. Yeah, 60 pounds is nothing. I mean, that's heavy, for sure. Yeah, my, my computer case is literally, it's 100% steel. Like, there's no... Except for, like, little decoration pieces that are plastic, there's not a... Nothing about the case is anything but steel. All of the structure and everything is all steel. It's very, very heavy, just on its own. Plus the amount of hard drives and stuff I have in this thing, it's just like... It's ridiculously heavy. I should weigh mine. I don't... I would love to know how much it weighs. Because I don't have a clue. Do not stop. Do not stop. What are you doing? Why does the AI do that? Yeah, my computer was never built to be portable. It was built to be a, you know, a workstation. It was built to be... You know, a powerhouse machine. Which, by today's standards, it's not really a powerhouse anymore. I mean, I'd have a 980 graphics card in it, but... Um, CPU could definitely be faster. <clears throat> Although I'm not complaining, it's plenty fast for the stuff I do, even like this stuff.
fourth gen i7. This is a, you know, I don't know. It's a 4077K i7. It's about five years old now, four or five years old. I'd have to look back at exactly when I bought it. It's possible it's fourth gen. The machine that's doing the streaming is actually older than that. But, I mean, it's also an i7, so... And it's plenty fast. i7, 32 gigs of RAM, I mean... It's got nothing special for a video card in it. It actually has an NVIDIA GeForce 710N, which is a desktop graphics card, not a gaming card. Yeah, I'm not, I don't remember what Niller's has. I think we both have the same CPU, though, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's it's a 3.5 gigahertz un, over, without overclocking. I can do 4.2 on it, but I don't have proper cooling for that. And I don't need to do 4.2 on it. Like, I'm not overclocked right now, and I'm getting a solid 60 frames in this game. No complaints at all. And, like, the frame rate issues I have in Arma, for example, have nothing to do with processor. It's just, it's just Arma. It's Arma being Arma. Although most of my frame rate issues in Arma are gone now that I've moved streaming from another PC, and that's definitely made my ARMA experience a lot better. It's still not great, it's still ARMA being ARMA, but it's better than it was. I took that way too short. Yeah, upgrading this system now um, would be forklift upgrade. I mean, it would be new motherboard, new processor, new memory, just a new, uh, probably new power supply, just at a minimum. I've been tinkering with that system on PC Parts Picker, just at, on a on a grin. Let's see, how do we do here? Gifts delivered. All right, twenty three grand in the bank, and that gets us tier one done. Yay! Now the question is, does this give us, what does this give us? I need to go visit a, uh, a truck. What is that? Special transport paint. Ooh. Oh, we got a bunch of new stuff to, ooh, look at that. Eight by four chassis. That's 80 grand, holy cow. Background, I might have to go visit a Upgrade center real quick. New hubs, a bunch of new stuff. New exhaust systems. Yeah, we're gonna go visit the repair shop. Kit up maybe a little bit. So I've gotten tier one done. 
Tier 1 rewards, exclusive world of truck achievement. Let me have to visit a store. There's got to be one in town here. There's that one there. What is this over here, I wonder? Let's, let's find out what that is. Let's find out what this is, and then we'll go over here. Did that wrong? Let's go here, then here, and then here. That's interesting that it keeps redoing it. Well, either way. <laughs> it has me going all over. Check it. Check out the map. That's kind of funny. Keep it moving, little blue car. What is this up here? Recruiting center? Yeah, it's a recruiting center. Driver job net. Not actually stopping here, I'm just turning around. How awesome would it be if a Scania... Oh no, you know, I never did make that clan, uh, Icarus, or, or Fiery. Let, remind me of that. I need to do that still. I totally forgot to build that clan on a world of trucks. Or Trucker's MP, I guess. I will do that. I'm writing an... I'll write a note in just a second here to remember to do that before I call it a night. Discover these two points, we'll hit the uh, parts place and see if I can buy those things I just earned. I don't know what you need to do to claim them. This has got to be a truck dealership. Yeah, it is. Oh, who is it? Is it... Looks like a man. Yep. Look at that turning radius. <laughs> Good grief. Turn in here and quick repair and check out what bits we can purchase. All right, first things first, we'll repair our $1,200. And let's see what kind of upgrades we have. First thing I want to do is let's look inside, shall we? We should get something that goes up here. Hanging items. Hey, look at that. We can put a gift up there. That's actually kind of neat. Rocket League ball. That's funny. I'm gonna call it a night snow. Well, thanks for joining tonight, man. We'll talk to you later. I think we're. Gonna, I think we're gonna put the gift up there, just because it's cool. And then what was some of the other stuff?
Does that actually work? I don't know how that works. Background light accessories. Red. So we have a cell phone there. We could put a compass. Endless nourishment. That's funny. Oh, we have our gift dangling, which I think is cool. I don't really care about the steering wheel, honestly. I don't like the wood grain either. That is kind of cool, that shape, but... Meh. I could put a, a uh, steering knob on it. Oh good, ATS has the gift delivery event now too. I don't think I'm gonna do it twice. <laughs> I think once is gonna be enough. All right, let's see what we can do here. I thought I had, oh, that may not have been a Scania that had that upgrade. Yeah, it doesn't, the triple axle. That might've been a different truck. 12 point, 12 plus two. Wow, look at that. Maneuverability just goes off the chart with that thing. Why would I not buy that? Oh, there it is. That's the dashboard I want. Do I really want to spend that much on it though? That's the all digital dash. I sort of think I do. <laughs> I just like the way it looks a lot better. All right. Water surge, blazing fire. What was some of the new stuff we got? Here's the US stuff I already had. Oh, here's the Christmas stuff that we earned. That one's kind of cool. The <laughs> Christmas present. Dude, Santa with a tat. <laughs> Heavy duty universal. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, so is that one. I kind of like that. I don't care for the blue. I like the darker colors. Yeah, that's cool. Also cool. I haven't seen any of these yet. I don't. I'm not even sure where these came from. Thor's fury. Crap! Which is the one that I already had? I did because I don't want to undo everything else I just did. Um. Although I could change it. Oh, this one's cool. That's the one I was using for a while. Actually, that is the one I'm using now. I'm still using that one. We'll, we'll stick with that one. Anything new here? This is new. No, it's not. New rims. I like the rims that I have. I don't need to change those at all. What are we spending? 40 grand. I think that's worth it. Pretty sure I got a new exhaust system somewhere. Maybe it wasn't for this truck. Must not have been. All right, 40 grand. Look at our present, that's so funny.
All right, so new dashboard. Check this baby out. Pretty. And we got the in-dash GPS now. So th in theory, I can turn this one off. Granted, I don't get... Whoops. Come on. I don't get the same information. Like, I don't get to be able to zoom out and stuff like that. I do like having that, though. I like the all digital dash though. So we got temperature, fuel, cruise, so the same stuff as before, distance, consumption, and pressure. So where's that glow? Oh, there it is. Check it out. It does actually glow the inside of the truck. Yeah, it's vanity, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's check. Let's just see how close. If this job is close enough, I might take it. So, tier 1 out of 2, done, let's see what we have, something close, that is not close, <laughs> good grief, 600 kilometers, 436 takes us up towards Scandinavia, wait, where does that go to, Kiel, we could probably do that one, that one's even closer though, 249, we have not been to Frankfurt yet on these, let's go ahead and take it. This one won't take long. I think after this run, that'll I'll call it a night. But uh, let's see. I'm good on fuel, good on rest. I should be able to just finish this. Oh look, the present bobbles around. That's so cool.
Okay. I don't know what's going on. I definitely need to do a reboot. I had to restart the Windows sound service to get that to come back. So that's not even related to... Um, that's not even related to the Logitech stuff. I don't know what the hell's going on. But uh, after this session, we'll definitely be uh, switching back over. But let's at least finish this run. It, unless, of course, it jacks up again and I have no choice but to end it. There's definitely something weird going on, though, that's for sure. I've never seen the Windows Sound Service just die. Oh, check out this present bobbling around up there. Look at that. That is so cool. gonna pull in front of a semi that's you know barreling down the road and that's that's on you dude but that's what you feel like you have to do I say go I say own it Not quite. There we go. All right, two hundred fifty kilometers. Now that these are good money, but I wonder if after you've done with the, uh, or after you've finished the, uh, gift deliveries, if you can still do them. I mean, they're not great money, so it's not like I would go out and search for them. Digging the new uh, center console controls here, or the heads-up controls here. It's just the little changes. I do wish that the rev meter and the uh, speedometer was reversed, though. Red glow is kind of cool in here, I gotta say. <laughs> If this truck wasn't hauling butt before, it certainly can now with that new transmission. 
and the horsepower is the same, but the gear ratios are different, so. gift bobbling up there. It's so cool. Little things amuse me, apparently. All right, 194 kilometers to go. Don't need to rest, don't need fuel. This will be the last run of the evening, so this will get me the first run, or first uh, delivery in Tier 2 finished. And then I'll just have five more to go, and I'm done with both tiers. It's still bugging me the ribbon isn't flowing and the flapping in the breeze. <laughs> I used to keep looking back and I just expect it. It shouldn't bother me anymore, but it does. That the gift keeps like popping up in my field of view just you know it swings in and I have to look over there <clears throat> it is pretty cool though it's too bad um, honestly so if I want to change that to something else I have to buy the new part right but when you buy a new part you're basically trading the old one in for the new one so you're getting money back for the old one, so you can't, like, keep them in inventory somewhere, like, and swap them out at will without spending money. Which I find a little bizarre. Like, for stuff like engines and transmission and that type of stuff, I, you know, I totally expect that, because that would save you money. But, like, the, the vanity stuff, yeah, I would think it'd be a lot better to have kind of a, uh, inventory kind of system where you could pick what you want to have displayed at any one moment. It would be much more ideal. You 
you know, because maybe I want the the fuzzy dice hanging up there next time, but I want to keep the present without having to buy it again. That guy cannot decide what lane he wants to be in. Did you see that? <laughs> it was funny. I still had a pop sitting next to me and I haven't been drinking it. Which, you know, pop is what you want to be drinking at, you know, 1.52 a.m. when you're about to call it a night. As I veer off the road. I can tell that little white car ahead's gonna cause me problems. Kept hitting his brake. So, definitely still having audio issues. My headphones just cut out for a second, but it looks like I was still transmitting. Don't know what's going on. I think it's just time to reboot. Everything else seems to be fine, although it looks like my levels are a little lower than they should be, but... Getting off up here. <laughs> I scared that car into thinking twice about merging. just about here. There's some sky. Check out that cityscape. That's pretty. I actually think I need to be in left lane.
No Tell Motel in Frankfurt. Sure. I'm going for it. I'm going to get a ticket though, aren't I? Yep. Damn it. <laughs> $360 is a, or uh, euros is a small price to pay to go to bed earlier. <laughs> This is one of them, we gotta turn her around. I thought it was up against the wall. It's not. It's further over. That should be good enough. Except it didn't count. Come on. Ding it in there. again. There it is. Oh. There. And another present delivered. tiny bit of XP. <laughs> so that should get us. Yes, so we're now one out of six in tier two, so we got five more to go. So what did I get? I got a hanging Christmas ball plush bear. I didn't see the plush bear. Main menu background theme of magic time. And a enter entrance into a... Uh, any amount of merchandise of your choice from the eShop for up to 50 euros. Cool. Oh, in-game rewards are granted as tradable and marketable Steam inventory items. Oh, you increase your chances if you do it in ETS as well, or ATS rather. So I have until the 22nd of January, so that actually gives me enough time to, if I wanted to go back and do it in ATS, I certainly could. I don't know that I'm going to do that, but I have that option. Oh, my rating went up. I'm 5.8 now. <clears throat> Good times. Well, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for me tonight, though. Um, it's been a good run. 
had a lot of fun tonight. Got a lot accomplished, at least I feel like we did. And uh, we'll be back at it again, probably not tomorrow night, unless it's after the New Year's on Eastern Time. Uh, but maybe, you never can tell. But uh, if I don't see any of you until then, have a happy and safe New Year tomorrow night. And we'll see you guys on the flip side. This is Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. Thanks for joining us.